Now let's quickly talk about the working directory again and how to set up our studio project. Here I reopened our studio. The environment is clean and again the console is clean. It starts with the usual R welcome message. But we have our script and we can redo all the computations that we need. For example, we can select everything and hit Control Enter. So it was executed and now we have the prompt here blinking, offering us to type more. We have the environment where we see the values which were obtained. And for example, we want to save something. For example, we want to save the object Z. How to do it? For example, we can save it in CSV format. The function for it is write.csv. Write.csv. Then we need to type the object name z and then we need to type the file name file the file name will be in quotes will be z.csv and by default again r will try to save it to the working directory which is currently get wd is the documents if we want to save it in our folder for this tutorial, again, we need to change the working directory. So it's either going to our programming and then set in the working directory. For example, sessions at working directory to file pane location. Or we can type this full path in the file name. This is an option. So you can do like this and actually we should add here data derived because this is something we produced so we can do this full path or we can do the set working directory so some people set working directory in the beginning of their script or use full path this is an alternative However, I don't recommend you doing these things. So remove this, you can just select and delete or you could just type Control D as a shortcut. What we will do is we will set or we will create an RStudio project and it will show us relative paths to operate with our files. So let's do project new project okay it offers me to save things again we don't need to save our data just save selected let's create a project in existing directory in our programming create project now the project is opened we will see in the top right here the uh, the project is selected. Also, our studio created a file called uh, our program in our project. So this is the file that says the settings for the project, and it will be also our start from location when we will type relative paths. For example, now in tools, you can set project options. So there are some options which can be different from the global options we set in the previous video. We can reopen our code and we can write the file using the relative path. So in this case, I will use dot slash, meaning we are starting from the project location. Then I can use tab as a hint to go to data derived folder and then save it as z.csv. So Stay on the line, click Control Enter, Z not found. Okay, we just need to re execute the code and then write the file. So now in our folder, data derived, we have this CSV file. So this is how we can use relative paths to 
conveniently save data, load data, execute the code. And if we share this project, we, we just share the folder our program in, and the user who receives that folder will be able to conveniently rerun the code without worrying about the paths. Thanks for watching. This video is part of our programming course. Like and subscribe. Ha <laughs> ha.